Hi, I'm Christopher Warnock of Rendell's Astrology, and today I'm going to talk about our new Exaltation Degree Moon Talismans. Uh, I'm also going to talk about Exaltations and Exaltation Degrees in general, and to try to get everybody up to, up to speed on these. But I'm so excited to have these. We've never ever had Exaltation Degree Talismans of the Moon before, and I think it's really important because the Moon is such a key astrological factor, yet really so mysterious, so difficult to sort of pin down. Um, you know, as the sun is the light of the day, uh, traditionally then the moon is considered to be the light of the night. Um, you know, and it's interesting because, again, the, the quality of that light, I think, is very illustrative of the, of the quality of these planets. I mean, the sun makes, is very clear, makes everything apparent. You know, sunlight, you know, brings everything out. Um, and yet the moon wraps everything in mystery. And um, it's funny, I woke up last night, I was walking around about 2 a.m., and the light, we had a full moon, gorgeous full moon, um, shining right in, and it was just streaming in the window, so bright and silvery, yet still, you know, it, it couldn't really see that well. It put it really, what I would say, it cast a sort of magical glow over everything. And this obvious, you know, light of the moon, I think, uh, reflects this underlying uh, mystery uh, and, and just the, the, the very difficult uh, time you have trying to pin down the moon, trying to understand what the moon is all about. And I think that's really important. So, you know, when we're doing astrology, when we're looking at the various planets, I think it's easy to emphasize the sun, you know, represents the heart, you know, it's again, so obvious in our day to day lives. Um, and to kind of, you know, the moon kind of gets shoved down there. I mean, I, in terms of the popularity of talismans, you know, moon talismans aren't the most powerful talismans, but they are incredibly important and those people that are discerning enough to see that and get a moon talisman or work with the moon talisman I think are very wise everybody if you're working in the esoteric area if you're an astrologer if you're a magician you really need to have a close and um, you know really focused relationship with the moon you know and it's interesting because when I visualize the moon you know I, I that whole crescent I almost it's like in my head and also coming into my heart this sort of crescent light glowing um, and I think that's, you know, it's just sort of an expression of my real attachment to the moon and the importance of the moon, you know, in my, in my uh, esoteric practice. Um, I mean, the moon is really vital to our art. I mean, when I think of intuition, I think of the moon, divination, obviously key for magic. When I'm looking at, I mean, this isn't always true, but a typical signature of an astrologer in the chart would be that they would have a strong Mercury, but they would also have a strong Moon for divination. And you need to have that combination of intuition, which the Moon rings, and then the analytical sort of side uh, that the, that Mercury brings in order to really be a, a master astrologer. So again, extremely important to work on the Moon. And you know, what better way to work with the Moon than an Exaltation Degree Talisman? I'm really uh, focusing on both Exaltation Degrees and Kazemi. These are astrological events that happen really quickly. So they're extremely hard to do as talismans. And the exaltation degrees are now join Kazemi as being a traditional way to really supercharge the existing strength and quality of a talisman. You take what you've got there already and you just vault it up to a, a, another level. I mean, these exaltation degree talismans of the moon are already plus seven. They're exalted and then dignified by, tri uh, by triplicity. And so then being in the moon's exaltation degree just takes them right off the charts in terms of strength. So these are definitely our most powerful moon talismans and an excellent way to uh, come in contact with the moon, to work with the angelic powers of the moon, and to really bring that home in your own practice. So, you know, again, I think that, you know, exaltations uh, and exaltation degrees are somewhat mysterious. I mean, if you reduce it to being plus four, when the sign is plus five, you're really losing a lot of the nuance of it. There's this whole sense of, of, of authority, of, um, of confidence, of charisma that comes with the exaltation degree. Uh, Guido Bonatti, the medieval astrologer, says that a planet exaltation is like a man is in his kingdom and his glory like a kingdom dukedom or uh, a podesta, which is a, a ruler. Um, and uh, Al Biruni says the exaltation signs are like the places of exaltation of planets are like the thrones of kings and other high positions. Um, and Abu, uh, excuse me, Mashallah actually says that exaltations are a greater authority in matters of kingship. Um, so, in other words, if you're looking at something done by a king, the Lord of the Exaltation is stronger in signification than the sign ruler. So, again, there's this whole uh, quality here, I think, of, of strength, of rulership, um, not like the sign rulership, 
um, and authority, but also this mysteriousness. Again, I think it fits very well with the moon. Um, so another thing that's uh, I think it's useful to talk about is this whole idea of exaltation degrees. So um, in the Renaissance practice and medieval practice, the the planet is exalted and in modern practice as well. The planet is exalted in the entire sign of exaltation. So the sun is exalted in Aries and throughout the sign it's exalted. The original, and again, I don't want to get into this as being the best, but this is just the earlier practice, was to look at the exaltation as a specific degree. And we have a whole bunch of different uh, traditional versions of where the exaltation degree uh, was. Now, one thing you need to watch out for is they talk about the 19th degree of the sun. The so the sun in the 19th degree of Aries, that's not 19 degrees of Aries, that's from 18 degrees and one minute to 18 degrees and 59 minutes. Like the, it's like the 18th century, right? 1788 is in the 18th century. So watch out for that in the sources. So um, like I said, one of our traditional sources uh, says the sun is exalted. The exaltation degree is the 19th degree of Aries. The moon is the third degree of Taurus. Mercury is the 15th degree of Virgo. Venus is the 27th degree of Pisces. Mars the 28th degree of Capricorn. Jupiter the 15th degree of Cancer. And Saturn the 21st degree of Libra. And we have all sorts of different variations on it. And you can check that out on my exaltation degree page that there's a link to there. So the moon exaltation degree talismans were made using the instructions from the Book of the Treasure of Alexander. This is a medieval text of alchemy and astrological magic. And the Book of the Treasure of Alexander says that the talisman of the moon is for pacifying the uproars of the populace and dispersing rioters. Well, that sounds very useful. Really, but that's more specifically for an individual, it would be for peace. It says this talisman, you'll always be successful in farming and gardening and that which is all, always planted by your hand will be fruitful. Again, growth, um, you can see how this would be helpful like in a business setting and any, anything that you want to grow. Again, the, 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 the moon exaltation degree and the moon in general are good for that. So as a traveler who carries the talisman, the moon will always be protected. So I guess that's a protection quality. And then uh, because it's a, a moon talisman, it's also good for wealth. And these in specifically are good, like I said, for growing your finances. We've optimized these for wealth. So this is one of the, the focus focal points of this talisman was making this a wealth talisman that would be good for um, increasing wealth. Um, so wealth, health, growth, and protection. So it really has some really powerful qualities for these particular uh, moon exaltation degree talismans as well as the general uh, moon quality and as I said getting in touch with the moon is very important. Um, so um, you know I think that to me I'm gonna you know we, we look at and we make the talismans we can. At, currently we have these moon exaltation degree talismans and sun exaltation degree talismans. I'm gonna be looking at all the rest of the planets seeing what is possible in terms of elections looking at in the future and seeing if we can make these if possible. Um, and uh, so again very excited to have these available um, you've got uh, a planet that everyone really wants to have a relationship, everyone needs to have a relationship with, particularly anyone with esoteric uh, inclinations, uh, astrology and magic, and yet one that's mysterious and, and really hard to get in contact with. So it's worth it to make the effort, worth it to make the, the, the contact, and really the Moon Exaltation Talisman is a, a wonderful talisman to start or uh, to supercharge your relationship and your journey uh, to the Moon. So definitely check these out. Um, if you're watching this too much after August of 2024, these may be sold out. Um, let me just show you what they look like. Both we have two at the moment. We have we have bronze uh, versions of this with the design, and then we also have the beautiful white agate version. Gorgeous. We have a few of these. Um, and here's the uh, Moon Exaltation Degree image. As I said, it's uh, the Book of the Treasure of Alexander says this should be an image of a king. Um, holding a cord with a spear and riding in a chariot. And you can see this is the, the corresponds to that image. So this is you know provided, this is the same image that's on the talismans. It's also for meditation um, and getting in contact with the uh, angel of the moon. So I hope you'll check these out. Very exciting talismans. And you know, be watching and thinking about these various traditional ways of, of taking and even supercharging uh, beyond the normal levels, like I said, the Kazemian Exalted Degree. So we're going to definitely be focusing on trying to get some more of these. Um, and if you can get one, great. If you can't, obviously lots of ways to plug into the moon. You can check out all the other moon talismans that we have available. So again, like I said, I hope you're as excited about this as I am. And I'm looking forward to um, 
having these uh, in stock for a little while, but as inevitably with all Renaissance astrology talismans, they'll sell out.